I think the coach Sandusky found there at Penn State ought to get hung from the highest tree they can find. And when I think of those football players, those poor football players, it's not like they did anything wrong. But still, they'll be guilty by association. And I don't think that's fair. I just do not think that is fair. It's ridiculous is what it is. I mean, I am sad that the little boys who got, you know, but it's not, you know, like they won't get over it. I mean, sure, it hurt, but so's falling down and skinning your knee. But it's not like they were killed or anything like that. I mean, when I was a kid, we took it up the butt three, sometimes four or five times a week. But if you just learn to relax and I don't know, think of something pleasant, like Christmas, then it's not so bad. There are worse things that can happen to a person. I had a puppy once. I forget its name. And I would play with it and play with it and play with it. And my mom, goddamn her to hell, would say, leave the puppy alone. You'll make him sick. I hate it when she's right. I just hate her. I hate her so much. Anyways, one day, I was pretending the puppy was a race car. Just running it back and forth on the carpet, like a toy car, you know. And there was this funny smell, like hair burning. And the puppy started making a noise like I had never heard a puppy make before. It was like a mix between gurgling and grinding metal. And blood started coming out of places where I didn't even know puppies had places. So, what were we talking about? Wait, wait, don't tell me. I remember. I think they should shove glass rods up his becker, then break them, and then... Get out of my god damn house. Now, leave. Now, leave. Now, leave. Now. Honest to Jesus. It's like she doesn't know how to shut up and go away. They really need to find that girl something to do.